you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Mr. Prince. Hey, how are you, Mr. Uh, Go Life Media? What do you want to say to I'm us? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I was just watching your, um, the verses you were quoting at Surah Bakara regarding the Jews and the Sabbath, mm. and you said they were stupid verses. In, mm -hmm. in what way were they stupid? Because your God saying, claiming that Allah, he made the Jews pigs for breaking the Sabbath, correct? Yes. Okay, why? Why? Because they went against the law of Allah. What is the law of Allah? The law of Allah at the time was the Sabbath. At that time because it was the Sabbath, so Allah, he changed his mind later. He don't want the law of the Sabbath no more. The Judaism and Christian, uh, Judaism and Christianity were in fact religions from Allah until they were corrupted by men. Okay, let me ask you a question. How those people who Allah made them Pigs and monkeys, what happened to them? How they broke the Sabbath? They put out the um, nets, uh, the fishing nets, mm. and they continued to catch the fish while they were ordered not to work on the Sabbath. Okay, okay. but is it true that Allah, he stopped the fish from coming all the week, but he made the, the, the fish come in Saturday only? Well, it, it's like you're messing around with um destiny and religion and end of the day god gives us free will the, uh, this is not yeah. the question i want the answer i want yeah, the answer i want the answer is it true that your god he made those fishermen who live supposedly an island in the sea and they have no other way to live except they are fishermen so he made them not to see the fish but in sabbath only the fish jump in the top of the water come to the shore and doubly dancing say ah, 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 i am a fish but you cannot fish me today is sabbath is that true that's not funny. Um, and what I also wanted to say is... Well, no, no, don't think, don't tell me don't funny or funny. Answer me. Is that a true or not? Is that a true okay. or not? Is that a true or I'm lying? From scholars who make mistakes... Is that a true? What, what a scholar make mistake? Who is the one who made the mistake? Who is the one who made mistake? Don't tell me... Yes. Is that a true or false? Man, you liar. You misrepresent our information. Answer me. Is that a true? Is that a true or it's a lie? Okay, Why do you have okay, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the front of everybody, what if we show the story from the scholars of your choice? Who is the scholar who explained this verse for us, chapter 7, verse 163? Because you know Arabic, you use don't tell me word. Arabic, I will show you in English. I will show you in English. What is scholar you like me to show you explain this story? Your fake game. You see, you don't want to you don't want to choose a scholar because you know you are humiliated and now you are getting to get to get read. I made you read before and I will make you read again today. You are the one who asked to call me and you are desperate to call me. And look, a second after the uh, calling me, you have no idea what to say. What is the scholar you choose yeah. to explain for us a chapter seven, verse one sixty-three, please? What is the scholar your choice who will explain uh, this verse for us? Say that again. Say that again. I mean, how many times I repeat the same question? Which is scholar you like me to show you explaining this verse for you? Go ahead. What, what's your problem with the verse? I told you the problem is, as I was saying to you, is it true that Allah, he made the fish disappear all the week and he made the fish only appear in Saturday. So those people, they are suffer, suffering. They cannot fish. They cannot find fish to feed their family. And now Allah, he bring all the fish in Saturday, yes or no? It is a test from God. What kind of test is that? Guys, look, look, look at this, look at this stupid test. So you're agreeing that this is what the story is. So your God, Allah, he made the fish disappear all the week and except Saturday, the fish come. But those people are hungry, they have to eat. So what test is that? You made them, you, you know, when you say to them, when you say to them, you cannot work in Sabbath and they are fishermen. And then you made the fish come only in Saturday. Who is the stupid in this story? Where was you there? 
Does God not test his slaves with poverty? He, he does test, no, he, he, he's, he's, he's not testing them with the property. He is not testing them with the property. This is a stupid because 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 when you say to them you can work seven days a week, you, you see, you let them live, you, you let them live not normal life. You don't you don't control the fish, you make the fish go away and only come come back in Saturday, and now you are going to punish them because they are hungry and they have family, they have children they want to feed. So how many weeks I can stay without feeding my children? Obvious from what you said, you don't even understand Christianity. Really? God. Really? Really? Yes. So you are saying to me that Christianity teach us that God, he teach us not to go and do work in Saturday, but God, he forbid us from finding food all the week and the food come only in Saturday. This is your own logic. This is your wisdom. No, no, this is your wisdom. This is the Quran in front of you. This is the Quran. This is your, this is your God. He forbid he forbid the Jews from working in Sabbath, and then he bring them, and they are fishermen, and they bring them the fish only in Sabbath, and then the fish start dancing in the front of them. Says, ah, 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 I'm here. Ta -da -la -la, you can't fish me. You can't fish me. Who is the stupid here? Just because you, oh no no no, you, you, just because you've got a scholarly opinion that says that doesn't necessarily mean scholarly it. opinion. You're so you did, did you say scholarly opinion? Did you say scholarly opinion? Okay, give me give me your scholarly opinion, which is against that. In the shoes of someone three four thousand years ago, somewhere you will never Abdul, understand. Abdul, don't give me, don't, don't, don't me. You see this? You see why I hang up on you because you are a kid. When you call me, you have to prove me wrong. So now you agree I, that all the scholars agree this is the story. This is what happened, correct? You just say the scholarly opinion says that, but this is not the, but let, let me get you busted. This is not the scholarly opinion, you idiot only. The verse in the front of you confirmed that. Do you see the verse? Read the verse for me. Are a liar. Read the verse. Well, you read the verse. I, 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 my English is not good. My English is not good. You read it for me. Go ahead. Just because you know Arabic, you pretend. I am not asking you to read in Arabic. I'm asking you to read your Muslim translation. Read the verse for us in English, please. Last time when you said Satan got a penis in one leg and vagina in the one leg, you took an incorrect opinion from an incorrect opinion from an incorrect scholar, and then you dance around and act like all Muslims think that. That was incorrect, by the way. Okay, but guys, listen to this. Incorrect opinion by incorrect scholar by incorrect Muslim, and he is the only correct one who do not know what he's talking about. Yeah, well, how all right, how is there consensus from that opinion? Is there each man well, then the explain opinion? to me. Yes, this is this is what Muslims agree upon. And now you confirm to me how Allah He says that children. Well, hold on, you know what? I want to, I want to, I want to get your opinion. How shaitan? How shaitan have children in Islam? Who is the wife of shaitan? Who is the wife of shaitan? You see, the, the guy, the scholars who made this opinion, they are stupid. You are the smart one. Explain to me how the Quran says that shaitan have children. Ah, oh, find me consensus on that opinion. What do you mean, find me? I need consensus on that opinion what you said about Satan and you are trying to explain why shaitan have a children you explain go ahead go ahead do your best how shaitan have a children who is the wife of shaitan who is the wife of shaitan Allah he kicked only one shaitan from heaven only one not 10 not a 20 so there's only one genie get out of heaven so how genie how how the first genie he got a wife where he got his wife from you don't understand the creation explain to me no don't tell me you don't understand for sure I don't understand you are the smart one that's why I'm asking you my friend Explain to me the first shaitan who came out of heaven how he got his children where he got them from he went to Home Depot Where did he get the children from? He was the first jinn who said shaitan was Jim, the so Thank you very much and he kicked him out of heaven so only he kicked only one shaitan Okay, shaitan now in earth. Okay, where where he found his girlfriend? Kotimio, you're very stupid. Which one is it? <laughs> Just get lost. Don't call me again. I give you a chance. You see, I give you a chance to talk to me. Oh, what you do? You call me names. Stupid. You give me fake scholar. Oh, sorry, no, incorrect scholar. So you agree this is what the scholar says. Incorrect scholars. Who are you? Who are you? You're just a kid. We have a Muslim is calling. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, CP. Wa alaikum as -salam. Uh, CP, um, I just wanted to uh, ask you a couple of questions. I thought you want to give me answers. No, I actually don't want to give you an answer. <laughs> okay, my friend, go ahead. Uh, so I would say, based on what I've seen from from your videos, you 
You have proven that Islam is false. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that. You've proven that Islam is false. Yes. Um. I guess my question was. So do you what, agree with me? Do you agree Islam is false? Yes. No. Okay. No. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disputing with that with you. You are correct. Islam is false. Okay. No, no doubt about it. All right. Um. Can you prove that? What proof can you give me that that Christianity is the truth, though? That's what I'm because I'm I'm seeking knowledge, right? I'm seeking the truth. How do you? How can you prove that? So that you are, you are an ex-Muslim now. Yeah, I've been an ex-Muslim. Right. <laughs> I actually, uh, yeah. Hello. What made you leave Islam, my friend? Uh, you. You. It's my fault. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's your fault because you said you showed me the the hadith about uh, Muhammad said the penis will never go flat. Your penis will never go limp. You said uh, you showed me where all, he he said all the the women can have uh, all the women can have the prophet if he wants them. Hmm. Um, I went and I talked to us, uh, an imam about this, and they gave me this bullshit answer about how Allah really cares about the prophet's life. And I don't believe that. So you're you're correct. You've proven it. Yes, All I'm right, not arguing friend. with you. All right. Yeah. Uh, arguing. Uh, uh, well, I'm happy for you that you left Islam, and I'm happy that uh, my my teaching helped you to make decision. Same time, you see, what is the proof of Christianity is to be the true belief? You see, the the proof is a Christ Himself. It's not a Christian prince. Christian prince is a sinner man like you. He's not perfect. And he will never be able to give you the perfect answer you are looking for. The only one who can give you the perfect answer is God himself. Look what Jesus okay. said. I will give you the answer from, from my Lord, not from me. I'm not the one who's okay. talking. The Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Small, tiny sentence, three words, four words. From their fruits, you shall know them. What does that mean exactly? Me, people, they can give you speeches about their religion, about their belief, about how amazing their God. But we have our Lord who is giving us a very clear scale. People, they talk. Talk is cheap. People, they say things. People, they claim things. But the only way to prove who they are is their fruits. So in order to understand if Christianity is the true belief or not, let us see the fruit of Jesus, not the fruit of the Christians. Because as I said, me, myself, I might be a thief, a killer, a drug dealer, an adulteress, whatever, you name it. I might be. I cannot present Christ to you. Christ himself is the only one who can present himself. So from their fruits, you shall know them. I want you to take this sentence and study it and study Christ with it. See his fruits. See what he did. See what he said and if it's matched. As an example, <clears throat> I'm sure you heard the Christian saying to you that Jesus says, love your enemy, correct? Yes, that's in the Gospel of Matthew. All right, which is, uh, this is like, uh, to be honest with you, it's hard to believe. I mean, what do you mean love your enemy? This is really hard to do, almost impossible. So when Jesus said to me, love your enemy, did Jesus practice that? Yes. All right. Jesus, when he was on the cross, what he did? He said they don't know what they're doing. Forgive them. Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. So, and Jesus taught us what it's meant to be a liar. The liar is the one who says something and he do something else. The liar is someone who claims something, but he do the opposite. Jesus, everything he said, it was consistent with what he said, everything he did. Even in the cross, the ones who they are killing him, he is worried about them and seeking their salvation. Here we notice that this is different style and different belief and different God. Not like the same as Muhammad, a God who says, fight them, kill them, Allah punish them by your hands, revenge, cut their fingertips, cut their necks, blah, 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 torture. Here you will see that there is a different spirit, spirit of love. In the same time, Jesus, he taught us that the one who denied the father and the son, he is an antichrist. You heard yourself and you learned that even Islam believe in the antichrist, correct? Yes. All right. Shouldn't I ask myself why there's an antichrist but not anti-Muhammad? What do you think? 
I think that because we've already established that Islam is false, I don't want to use the Quran as a book to prove anything. No, 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 it's a no, book. no. Let us say, let us say, Islam, yes, Islam is false religion. But the, why there is? I'm just mentioning to you that even Islam, they 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 accept that. But why there is an antichrist, but not anti Muhammad? What is this idea of somebody? He is the devil. He is an antichrist. That's mean anti good. Yeah. When you say Antichrist, you are talking about what anti what is good in this earth and in heaven. Why why Satan he chose to be Antichrist, not anti-Christian prince, not anti-you, not anti-Trump, or there's big kings, big names, you know, to control the earth. Why he is Antichrist? Simply, he is anti the good God. So in order for me to understand Christ, I have to understand what he did and what he taught. And if what he did match with what he taught, then we have a perfect person to follow. Some people, they say, it's hard for me to believe that Jesus is God. I say to those people, it's hard for me to believe that Jesus is just a man. Because okay. you remember only from Jesus what you want. You remember that he is just a man by the look, but you forgot that he is a one who can raise people from death. You forgot that he's a person who can heal the blind. He can make things nobody can do. CP, can I offer you something else? Sure. So uh, I've actually I've read the New Testament, and so uh, I guess one one concern that I have is that um, because you have four uh, gospel writers, and they have so, they have different details sometimes of the same events. Like for example, um, when uh, what's a good one? Oh, so like uh, in the Great Commission in Matthew twenty-eight, verse nineteen, when Jesus says, "Go therefore into the world, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit." Yes, mm -hmm. uh, he says that in Matthew. But then, if you look at the same statement in one of the other Gospels, it'll say, "Go therefore into the world," and it doesn't say like the because if you if you believe the twenty-eight nineteen in Matthew, you have to say that the Trinity is in the Bible, and and mm -hmm. that's that's proof. But the thing is. If you look at the one that's in Luke or in hmm. or in uh, or in Mark, then the statement doesn't say that. So how do we know which one is the one that Jesus said? Maybe Jesus did do all those things. Maybe he did raise the dead. But if the people that were writing it down don't even have a consistent, they have the same. They have the generally the same message. But in terms of the statement, when he says, uh, "Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit," then you can't deny the Trinity and you can't deny what Jesus did. But if the statements are different, then you have to ask the question, right? You see, those are not different statements, my friend. This is why we have four writers, not one. Otherwise, if a, if each of them is going to say exactly word by word what the other one he said, then we, we do not need the second writer and the third writer and the fourth writer. Everyone, he speak of his, uh, let us say, how God he inspire him to explain things. It's not It's not word by word. Do you think that everything Jesus said, is written there? Probably not. For sure not, because you know, like uh, a, a person who live in this earth, and, and I am here talking to you for the last four hours. I can make a book in four hours. If you put my words into a book, they will make a book. Do you agree? I don't know how many words I spoke until now. Maybe eight thousand. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it it you know what what the Bibles are presenting to us. What is important. So every writer is witnessing to the Messiah. And all of them, they give you a complete image. It's like, you know, we have an, you have a building and we have, the building have four sides. And each one of them, he give you a point of a view. So to have a perfect view of the whole house, you have to get four of you, not only the front. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, each I each one of them, saying. yeah, each one of them, he give you as an example. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, you notice in Christianity, they avoid report, re repeating. Not like in Islam. In Islam and the Quran, the same verse repeated many, many, many times all, all over. So they avoid reporting and repeating. Like when they say, uh, as an example, the other day someone he called me, he says, "Okay, there is a uh, uh, there is a there is a prophecy about Jesus is." Uh, 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 you know, and the 30 silvers, etc. But this is cannot be found here where we can find it. You notice that they did not mention uh, uh, the book of Zechariah, even though they are mentioned different book, because there they mentioned the person who the story about him in the book of Zechariah. 
so always they avoid repeating the same story with the details if my if, if the other book give us the whole details why I want to repeat the whole thing you notice when Jesus he speak to the Jews he don't quote for them the, the, the Torah he quote for them a line and he debate them about it as an example when they when Jesus he said to the Jews what do you say of a Christ they said he is the son of David now he did not go and quote the whole chapter speaking about that he said to them well if he is the son of David then why didn't David call him my God or my Lord or Jehovah and the Lord he said to my Lord so you see here Jesus is quoting for them but he did not quote the whole chapter and repeating the whole thing he just asked a question and from that question he got the answer because we are speaking to people who knows already the scriptures very well so the details there's no need to repeat it this is why sometimes people they say okay here it says that he will be called Emmanuel where this name is coming from for those who they are very well versed they will not be wondering where is the name because they knew but those who never heard they never have the idea then they will they will start doing research and study to find where this name is coming from so for you as a person who is not very well versed you wonder why here it says here it says it says not the whole story as it mentioned in that story because there's no need to repeat the same story twice same time it's not in contradiction i'm not no i wasn't saying that maybe it's not in contradiction but i guess the the point that i was making was that uh if well first of all when it says in luke uh like for example when we're talking about the great commission it is slightly different but um, I was looking into the authorship of the, the four Gospels, and it looks like Luke was a companion of Peter, I think, or a companion of, a companion of Paul. I think he's a companion of Peter, but he had he wasn't actually a, a – he collected the stories, but he wasn't actually a witness, right? My, my friend, regardless if he was a witness or not, we can go to details, but this is not will not make any difference. Let us say the book of Luke is gone. Let us say the book of Luke is not there. That will not okay. change anything. Because still, the other Bibles are consistent, speaking about Jesus' crucifixion, what he taught, what he teach, what he said, what he did. And every one of them, he present to us the story from his point of view, by the inspiration of God. So Luke is just another one confirming what the rest are saying, not opposing, not saying the opposite. And the same time, if, just to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to make it more clear for you. Uh, if we have, <clears throat> let me put put, uh, put something in the screen just to make it simple for you to understand. I'm sure you are smart. I'm not saying uh, you will have difficulty, but just to help me in explanation of things. Uh, all right. I will put this picture in the screen and I hope you will understand what I'm trying to say to you. Do you see the picture on the screen now? Uh, I'm, at, I'm actually not on my laptop today to watch your show. I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. about anyway, I put a picture of a farm, you know, and in the farm there's many, many objects. There's a house, there's a stable, there's, a, 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 you, know, a, you know, many things for farmers. But if you ask four people to describe for you this picture, you will find everyone start describing from different corner, maybe. Or he described the same picture, but in different words. Is that correct? Yes. You will not even find them, even though they are describing the same picture, the same exact picture. You will not find them describe it exactly like each other because everyone he sees something, the other one he don't see. Okay. And that because everyone, God, he gave him a gift. As an example, some of us, they are very great in details. And I think we, we have to agree that, in that, right? Yes. Some of us, we don't notice the details. We notice the big stuff. So some of us will notice, okay, here there's a big house. Here there's a stable. I see where the, etc. Here I see uh, the, maybe here they make wine. Uh, here they store their, their goods. But there is someone he might notice that here there is little tiny thing which is to water the horses, to give water to the horses. 
and the rest they did not notice it so from the god wisdom is that we have more than one writer so we will not miss okay what, so, what so, god is trying to say to us because remember god is speaking to us in our language the messiah he spoke using parable par parables you, you know what does that mean right so yes, he tell a, a story a, why 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 he is telling a story because we as a human we are not really the the, the genius we claim to be stories help us to understand what he want to say but it's not the purpose correct yes the story is not the target the target is to explain to you so he always talked to them in parables so they might understand and here we have four people doing their best by the inspiration of god to describe for you what happened and what was there okay so when so you read the four I, they complete each yes. other they are not a copy of each other okay no i'm uh, totally with you on that so i guess my what i'm asking is so do we know about the, the as far as the other three writers meaning like mark uh matthew and john so matthew was the tax collector right is that is that correct or no uh, you see I, I don't want to go in details it doesn't matter if even if he is let us say you you, you can you can assume the way you want but if you want to go in details maybe we can yeah. we can we can go in details about the four bible but for me i have a topic which is islam only uh, sure. I advise you to go to Sam Shamoon. He, you know, he give you. He love. He love to to, to this, such a topic. But for me, uh, the best way to 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 explain it to you is we are not limited to one book. For one book, is the four book, which means we have four books, but they are one, because at the end of the day, the four books is speaking about one person one story one history and one teaching if we have books they are in total contradiction with each other then those four books and four writers obviously they have nothing to do with each other if i write a book now explaining the bible my explanation will be based on what those four writers they give me not based on me correct yes okay so now we have four writers who they present to us the best of a Christianity and the best of the teaching of Jesus and the best what Jesus said and what his message is about and then by having them all we have a perfect image of who is a Christ is God he have a wisdom and the wisdom is that we have four writers not one for everybody he see things in different way but you will notice that all of them they see things each one of them he have different point of view but all of them they have the same view at the end of jesus who is he mm -hmm. so john he don't differentiate with luke and mark and you know like the uh, uh, all the writers they don't differentiate with each other about who is jesus all of them they report the same story but a, each one of them based in what he knew and based in what he can present because you, you you notice that john as an example is a high high skilled deep writer you know he is deep in his in his writing in the same time we cannot say that john because he's skilled his book his book of john we can say that he was inspired and he speak deeply so we will find that the bible is in stages there's deep and deeper and deeper and deeper so we have people who they are simple we have people who they are more educated we have people more and more educated and we have people really highly educated if you go and read what paul he speak of you will see paul is a very high educated person and because of because of that he is when we say educated we don't talk we don't talk about he have a phd in uh, uh in physiology or you know we're talking about a person who is very well versed very well he knows what the law he knows what what what, what judaism about he know the book of the, the torah he knew uh, 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 the details the deep details and then we find his details match or let us say his writing and his 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 letters match with the guidance of the old message is not something in you it is a deep analyze and deep study so here we okay. go. We have now we have the book of Acts as an example. 
okay why we have the book of acts because the early Christians same as everybody you know they have a questions and the questions need to be answered but you will notice that all the answers does not contradict the older teaching you know what I mean sure so everything complete each other that's why okay, we have books but the books are not really uh, uh, will, not, will not make it harder for you. Actually, it, it's the opposite. It will make it easier for you to understand. Okay. CP, so uh, you said to speak to Sam Shalmoon about that other issue? You can ask, you know, Sam Shalmoon. I, I, I believe he will be happy to uh, uh, okay. to answer you. But but in the same okay. time, don't don't take it yes. like, you know, okay, why here it says, because if, it, if, if in the book of Luke is going to be saying exactly the same sentence in the book of John, then there's no need, there is no need for Luke, and there's no need for this one. And there's okay, one book that's it. It's the same as you are saying to me, okay, why uh, Uthman he burned the Quran? Yep, okay, why? Because they are different, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, yeah, of if, they are, if they are the same book, then he will not burn them. But look here, we have we have different writers, but all of them they are consistent, and both of them, all of them they teach the same thing, okay. and, and we did not burn them. We love them, we protect them, we preserve them, and we follow them. Okay. All right, CP, I got to get going, but uh, I will call you again sometime. I love you, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. you. Take care. Take care. All right. I, I thought he's a Muslim because his name is a Muslim in Skype, so but looked like he left Islam. Yeah, you know, always, always we have, uh, we, we, you know, we have to understand that things happen for a reason. When God he speak in the book of Genesis how he created the world do you think really how this is how God he created the world if God if I want to describe for you how the eye of a mosquito function I might need to write maybe a thousand pages go and ask a guy who study uh, to be an eye doctor how many books he did read in order to finish his degree and to be a doctor in the eye it's just an eye, small, tiny eye. So do you want God to write everything he wrote for us there? If an eye study, study, not how to make it, take years of writing. So if you ask God to write for you everything he said, everything he created, he will, he will give us billions of books. The Bible is meant to make things simple to understand, not to make it complicated. All right? Oh. Yes, Isa, you called me. What do you want to what do you want to say? Hello. I hear you. Go ahead, Isa. What do you want to say? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so you do believe that that the angel did um come to Muhammad and and communicate to him? No, I don't believe in that. I'm reading your story. This is what Muhammad told you. Well, you said when the angel came to him, he didn't say. I couldn't read. He's, I'm. He said, "What should I read?" So you said. So you do believe that he came to him. I, I'm. I'm explaining to you your story, my friend. It's you who do not understand your story. Your prophet told you a story. You Muslim don't understand it. I believe that Muhammad saw no one. He heard no one. He is a person who is fabricating stories, and he's a false prophet. And you know that. So who helped him in all those those victories that he won in all those wars? What victories? What What war have to do? Is Is that mean Alexander the Great? He must be God. <laughs> Alexander, Alexander the Great, Alexander the Great, he, hold on. Are you saying to me that Alexander the Great, he was God? Where is Alexander the Great's followers right now? Where, 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 right now? where is the followers of Muhammad right now? One billion, one billion plus. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where is Alexander the Great's okay, followers? Okay, 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 okay. So you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Because your prophet, he said that Muslims will be the minority in the world. Does that mean that he, Muhammad is a false prophet? 
Because based on I want to know, I want to know if you're a prophet. Say, them. if you're a prophet, say, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Quran confirmed saying that those who follow Jesus they will be the victorious until the judgment day. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. Okay, so the Quran confirmed that those who follow Jesus they will be victorious. Jesus Himself. Where Jesus are was they? Muslim. His followers okay, are okay, Muslim. Okay, okay, let us go with you. Still, it's going to be following Jesus, not following Muhammad. Not following Muhammad. The Quran says those who follow Jesus. So, where are the those who follow Jesus according to Islam? Did Jesus help him with all his victories. My friend, my friend, don't change the topic. Where those who follow Jesus? This is the first question. I, no, this no, is the no. First question I asked you. No, no. I'm I asking you. I'm asking you, ask, you. said you said the victory proving Muhammad to be a prophet of God. First of all, your prophet I'm did not have a victory. If, Jesus, if you're saying Jesus is God, mm. why would He help someone who is, according to you, a false prophet and not starting the correct religion? No, my friend, it's not God who helped him. The the Bible says that God He will let the sun raise upon the evil and the good ones. So. Uh, uh, and Jesus, he said, time will come and people will be killing you thinking they are doing favor to God, which means you will be able to kill me, but does not make you victorious. So you kill me, but that will make you a loser and I will be victorious. I so kill you, Jesus I kill you, I kill you, I kill you. That will make me a loser and that will make you not a victorious. So, uh, so you know, uh, obviously, so obviously, Jesus obviously, okay, that. hold on, hold on. Obviously, you as a Muslims, you have a wrong understanding who is victorious. You think victorious is the one who kill, not the one who is peaceful. Christianity have no, my question is my, my question is why would God give victory to a false prophet? And okay, hold on. I will I will go I will and, go and I will go by you. Okay. I, I okay. Finish. Okay. okay, okay. And he preserved his book hmm. and he preserved his grave and he preserved his religion. Let us see. Let us see. If why would he do the honors to a false prophet? <laughs> okay, we will see if this is true or not. First of all, your God did not give him victory because your God approved Muhammad to be false. Read with me carefully. This is your prophet, and this is Sahir Bukhari. You're a prophet saying that he ate poison and he was killed by the poison. Do you agree? No, I don't agree with that. Okay, that means your prophet is lying. Thank you very much. So Muhammad no, he said, okay, lying. but this is Sahir Bukhari. The Bukhari saying that Muhammad he died by poison and he was suffering badly. And here look what he said. The prophet in his element of death, which he's died, used to say, Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food of, I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as my orta is being cut from that poison. That's wonderful. Now, who is the one saying that? This is Muhammad and this is Sahir Bukhari. You cannot deny it. You can deny it, no problem, because you are ashamed of it. But look what happened here. You said that Allah, he preserved the book of Muhammad, correct? Let us see what is preserved about this story. Allah in the Quran said, if Muhammad is inventing Quran, I'm going to cut his artery. And this is exactly how Muhammad died. If we go in the Quran in chapter 69, verse number 64, it says the following. You can read from the verses before it. If the messenger, if, if, if Muhammad, if Muhammad were to invent any saying in our name, who is the one who's talking? Supposedly Allah. So Allah is making a threat that if Muhammad is to invent anything in my name, verse number 44, what Allah will do? We should certainly size him by his right hand. Verse number 46, and we should certainly cut off his artery of his heart. And this is exactly how your prophet die. Now, here we go. Your God, Allah, he preserved the Quran to prove to us and he preserved the hadith to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet who was inventing in his name. What do you say? So you do believe that the Quran was revealed by Allah to Muhammad because that what you're reading is what is what is, is the Quran which is revealed from Allah to Muhammad. So you're saying you believe that? Let me let me answer you. I believe that Muhammad he fabricated a lie but he never thought his lie is going to get him busted. So he fabricated a lie saying that so if I am lying, proof, okay, hold on, this is the proof. If the, if the one who said that is Allah according to you, not according to me, according to me, so Muhammad, hold on, Muhammad, Muhammad, he fabricated a lie. He thought he will never die this way. And he said, well, if I am inventing in the name of Allah, Allah is going to cut my artery. And then time come and what happened exactly, what he said exactly happened to him, which means Muhammad, he got himself busted. And I believe maybe 
that my Lord he made it happen this way to get Muhammad busted so Muhammad he fabricate a lie saying if I am lying if I am lying Allah will cut my orta and Allah told me that here we go let me show you here we go Allah in the Quran in chapter 69 said if I am inventing anything he will cut my artery and then Muhammad he died and he is the one described exactly how he's dying he said it is okay, cutting so, my so, artery so what's, what's, what's our worst death to, to die the death that Muhammad died which which you claim I didn't know they did autopsies back then but you claim that the artery was cut he said I still feel the effects as if mm. as if there's a big difference as if it's like Mm. No, like it's cutting my artery, mm. but anyway, whatever okay. the point is, mm. wait, what's worse to die at the death of Muhammad or all peace upon him, or to die crucified? You see, you, you see, cross. you are running away from the topic to change about which is worse. I'm ask you a question, I'm you ask see, you a question. no, no, the death of Muhammad is said, in the, the death that, of Muhammad is worse because he died four years dying from poison, four years suffering, everything he swallowed, he 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 throw, he vomit. So this is a very slow, so, pay, painful so, death. So, so and read, read, read with me carefully. Read, read, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. It says that Muhammad, in his death element, he said, and he used to say, not only once, he used, used to say, "Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar." And Muhammad he died about four years after Khaybar. At this time, I feel as if it my orta is being cut off. And remember, Muhammad. He, when a guy, he came to him and he said to him, my brother, he have a problem in his stomach. He said to him, go and tell him to drink honey. The guy, he came second time, still he's sick. Third time, fourth time. So Muhammad, he screamed at him. He said, your prophet's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. So when Muhammad, he described even the sickness of someone he did not even meet, he claimed that Allah told him that. How about he himself speaking about his sickness and why he dying? So you think that Muhammad was telling the truth about what was hurting the guy who he did not even see and he claimed that Allah is the one who told him what is his problem but Allah did not tell him the problem of himself? Okay, first of all, Muhammad died after the verse came which said, which where Allah said that today I have completed your religion for you and perfected it and have chosen Islam as a religion for you. So his, his mission was complete. He had totally conquered all of Arabia and brought everyone to worship one God, <laughs> and his book was complete. So you're saying this is a worse, this this is a worse death than to be nailed to a cross, humiliated between two thieves, which are which your blood comes you out of you your see, head, guys, your arms. Look, look at this guy. You're saying that the God. Look at this guy. Look, look at this guy. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You see, you we, are, you we said, are talking. So said, we are not talking about the worst death or who is better death. Your prophet, he died like a rat, literally by poison, not by being killed. Secondly, okay. secondly, poison, secondly, hey, not, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Secondly, said, secondly, poison, you, we, are to, we are talking what is the proof that Muhammad is, is a prophet. You said he was victorious. Obviously, he was, he was not victorious because Muhammad, okay, he claimed, Jesus? because Muhammad, he claimed Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, he told them before they catch, capture him, they, before they capture him, that uh, you, will, you will deny me, you will betray me, you will do this. He knew everything. So he said, and he said, nobody can take my, my, myself from me. I lay my, myself down. So this is not a victory for the enemy. This is himself. He lay himself down. So you have a very false understanding of Christianity and you have a false argument about your prophet because you are the one who claim that the victory of Muhammad because his Quran is preserved and this is false. And we can show you right now how the goat ate the Quran. Umar al-Khattab, he said that the Quran is a thousand, thousand and twenty-five thousand letter. And what we have now left of the Quran is not even 25% of the Quran. Uh, uh, it, it's uh, and it's, the, the, the Muslim scholar they say that the chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah, and now we have more than a hundred ten verses of, Al of of the chapter of Al Ahzab is gone. So when you say to me his religion is preserved, his book is preserved, this is a stupid. This is a big fat lie. You cannot prove it. Can you prove it? Okay, I can't prove it because is the Bible is the gospel that was given to Jesus is it in the original language right now? What? Is the book that was given to Jesus in the language that he spoke? Which Where language? Is what is that language? What do you mean? What is the language of Jesus? Okay, let me, let me simplify for it. Did Jesus speak English? Oh, this is a translation. Did Muhammad speak English? Okay, okay it's translation. But where is the original at? The original, we have Aramaic, we have a Greek, we have Hebrew. Where? Where is it? They all exist. They'll go and read them. But they don't be stupid. You see, you see, don't, 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 okay. don't be stupid with me. Now let me ask you a question. What is the what is the language? What is the language Jesus spoke according to Islam? Aramaic. 
Aramaic. So why his book is called Injil? The whole point of it is, where is where don't change the topic. Was, was you see, uh, I'm getting you busted more and more. You, you are digging. Now, listen, 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 listen. Why your God? Why your God named the book of Jesus in Jeel when this is a Greek word? If his language is, is, is Hebrew and his book is in Hebrew, so how the book, which is the gospel, which is in Jeel, became in Jeel in Islam? Why Allah He chose such a name? So my point is no, no. Your point is no, no, no. You, I, you want to answer me? If Jesus He spoke Hebrew, how Allah He called the name of the book of Jesus in Jeel, which is a Greek word? Okay, first of all, in the Quran, does not specify what language the Jesus spoke. Uh, you are the one who when told me a second ago. Hold on, no, no. The Quran specifies. Don't be stupid. The Quran specifies. The Quran says we never send a messenger except he speak in the tongue of his people. Are you denying that? No, of course not. He okay. Okay. So what is the what what, what, is, what is the tongue of the Jews? Hebrew. Okay. So the language of Jesus must be Hebrew. Don't be stupid. Here okay, we go. Fine, so okay, so why why America. so why the language which is why the, the Bible of Jesus in the Quran it's named as in which is a Greek word. The whole point of it is we did not speak English. Where is the English what? Bible? What, what, what are you talking about? Why I'm asking you, your God, your God, your God, he named him. Your God yeah. named the book. My, my who point who is, is the one who chose the word? Shut Arabic. up, Muhammad answer me. Arabic. Don't don't play games. You can't play games with me. Why the name of Jesus called in Jeel when Jesus he spoke Hebrew? Go to Tafsir, you'll find out. Uh, you go to Tafsir, you are the ones you know. You see, you are, you are getting busted. You agreed with me that Allah he never sent a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people, and we show you the verse in the Quran. And now we are asking you, you are the one who mentioned the language of Jesus. You said to me, Why the Bible in English now? Which is very silly, like you're talking like a kid. And now we ask you the same question: Why the Quran no, is in my, my So, so now, is why, Quran why is that a translation? Is that is that a false translation? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that Allah? You are you are you are just a kid. You are just want to shout. Are you going to talk or you want to shout? I'm asking you. I want a serious answer. Don't tell me so. Go and see that tafsir. Why Allah He chose the word Injil, which is a Greek word for the name of the book of Jesus, if He is a Hebrew, spoke Hebrew. Go ahead. I don't know why it's called NG. I don't know what language NG is. I okay. don't know why that was chosen. Okay, let your dad call me. Let the man of the house call me. Don't tell me go and read Tafsir. You are being stupid. You are jumping like a monkey from a topic to a topic to a topic to a topic. If Muhammad is proven to be a prophet because he killed and he was victorious, that means Trump is victorious. Here we go. ISIS is destroyed. That means he's God. He's a prophet. That's stupid. That's the most stupid argument. Muhammad, he died like a rat and he claimed victorious. And not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that when he died, his body will not be consumed. And the Muslim did not bury him for three days. And then they noticed that he started farting his belly. The fart was getting like crazy. But the Rabbah Batnuhu, his belly became so big from gas. His, his nails became a green. And even Ibn Abbas, he said, "Qad asina Rasul, bury him. He became stinky. Fahuwa yasanu kama yasanu al-bashar. What victory? Forcing people to convert to your religion. This is not victory, my friend. The same day Muhammad he died. The same day tens of thousands of Arab left Islam. Go and read the word. The, the, the history is called the War of Apostate. The same day Muhammad died. They just heard the news." What victory? Victory of a sword? You lost your sword. Your sword is not with you. Numbers mean nothing because you Muslims are many, many, many cults today. And you are killing each other. You call yourself Muslim. Like the funny about Muslims, you say to them, is the Shia Muslim? They say no. So why you count them? Why you count the Shia when you count the number of Muslims? Why you count the Ahmadiyya? Why you count the Daruz? Why you count the, the, the Bataniya? Why you count? You, they count every funny, stupid cult. Even they count the, 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 the cult of what is called the uh, Louis uh, Farrakhan. They count. But you ask them about the details, suddenly they, those are not Muslims, and 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 those are not Muslims. So who is Muslim?
Nobody. Even the Muslim, even ISIS, they accuse Al Qaeda not to be Muslims. And Al Qaeda accuse ISIS not to be Muslims. When we ask the Muslims about ISIS, they say they are not Muslims. So who's the Muslims? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Look at us right now. After 1400 years, who can speak good about Muhammad? The child molester, killer, criminal, thief, rapist. He ordered Muslim women to give themselves to sleep with them. What victory is that? The victorious is the one who make people love him. Can you hate Jesus? You cannot. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this God. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but it doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.